Hello, my name is Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, hello, welcome to our whiteboard session today on how to mobilize your project quickly. We're going to talk about 11 critical elements that you need to incorporate and set up before the, the project actually starts. So the biggest question we have with executives today looking to bring in project management and project managers are is really looking for them to set up and mobilize everything before the project starts. In the past there's been too much time to set things up. It could take weeks, it could take months to set up files, direct, directory structures, tools and templates and the project's already begun before we get the tool set up. So a big qualifying factor in making you stand out for opportunities on projects are being able to mobilize quickly. So the 11 critical elements that, that executives are looking for are these. Number one, having a project dashboard. It's critical to have a project dashboard so you as well as the team members, the executive teams, the stakeholders, shareholders know the status of the project. So being able to access the project dashboard. Number two, the project planner. Having a tool or mechanism to plan your projects, the tasks, the activities, the resources needs to be in place before the project begins. Number three, a, a mechanism to track time. One of the things that we find commonly on projects that are over budget is that they found that the resources were not tracking their time appropriately. And one of the reasons why was the people on the team did not have an easy mechanism or a mechanism in place to track their time. So what happened was they didn't really track it and when it came to put time into the tool or whatever spreadsheet or mechanism later they just kind of guessed at what really happened. Number four is expense tracking. What we say is the devil is in the details and this is one item that we found projects over budget are also overlooking as <clears throat> their ways to track expenses. So if there's not a mechanism in place then people wait to the very end of the project and submit their expense reports. But we know going in the project before the project begins that people travel and have meetings. Maybe there are ad hoc expenses that come up that need to be purchased on an, um, some type of mechanism that that has to be tracked. So number five, having a mechanism and a process in place to track risk, issues, and changes. So already have it in place the tools and templates in place so when the project begins we all know that they already begin in the beginning of the project. Number six, project reporting. Having the tools in place to know what projects are going to be needed and how and where they're going to be tracked. Number seven is online storage. It's important to have a place where the project deliverables are going to be managed and maintained, whether it's files, it's plans, it's processes, it's assets for the project, so that um, when people start coming on board, even as early as planning, people start, uh, start creating documents, so they need a place to have that in place. So before the project ever begins, we need to know where online we're going to store those. Number eight is being web-based. It, most projects, whether the teams are, they could be in the same city, but the, the team members could be on different floors of the building, they could be in different buildings in the same city. As we know now, more projects, the people are co-located in different cities or even now internationally. So being able to have some tools that are web-based so people can access tools and templates web-based by internet. Number nine, Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project still has one of the largest market shares in tracking projects and a lot of team members have access to the software because it's on their desktop. So being able to interact with Microsoft Project, being able to export information out of Microsoft Project is important because information can be exported into an Excel spreadsheet and shared with other people. Number 10 is project collaboration. Knowing how your team is going to collaborate. So for different people who have to contribute to reviewing documents, approving documents, giving their approval, uh, have, setting a mechanism so that people can collaborate. There are many ways to do that now, especially with online tools, whether it's online meeting, like GoToWebinar, they're using Skype, they're using tools like projectmanager.com to access things online. So 
Uh, number 11 is security. So it's important all companies worry about the security of their documents and their information. So knowing in advance, how are we going to keep these documents secure? Believe it or not, some people still are using paper files. They're actually filing those in file cabinets. So if they're in file cabinets, how are they going to be stored? If they're online, what's the security in place so that different people of different groups cannot access those? And for companies uh, who have critical information, making sure even if it's online, that there are things in place to secure the, the critical data. So these are the 11 critical elements that need to be set up prior to, before you ever start the project. As you can see, before, once the project begins, all these things start happening, and when we're scrambling trying to get things set up, it just causes more chaos. So many people now are evaluating software. So there are many software tools today that can uh, incorporate these things or have these things in place. So if you are looking at or evaluating a software tool, then these are 11, 11 critical items that you need to assess and make sure they can accommodate. So one of them, projectmanager.com, if you go out and look, you can see how we've incorporated these items, feedback from our community and our executives saying that they need. And as a bonus, there's one topic we keep talking about. We keep at projectmanager.com, we keep talking about a new norm and we keep talking about the SOMO-centric project high performance team uh, environment. Well, these things begin setting up and supporting the new norm. The new norm being socialization, mobilization, and globalization. So by doing these things, you're being able to socialize, meaning being able to give your team ways to socialize and collaborate on the project, being able to mobilize quickly, and mobile, not just meaning mobile devices, but being able to mobilize, put things in place prior to an event happening, and then globalizing, having your team globally being able to com communicate effectively. So we feel like by implementing these 11 critical items before your project starts, you'll be able to set your project up and execute your project quickly. And you'll be setting yourself up to stand out as a prime candidate for the type of projects that you want. So if you need any tools, tips, or templates, or even online software to help you implement your project quickly and incorporate these 11 elements, then come visit us at projectmanager.com.